Hello everyone, Nerdlean here, back with some more bottom mod. 4.0, now testing out Lothlorien. From what I remember of patch 3.0 Lothlorien, very defensive, possibly a bit strong, and archers are always the way to go. So we're going to see if that technique still works here. So obviously we've got the Lorien barracks we can just build. And our third unit is an archer unit, so kind of incentivizes you. And for those of you that don't remember the Elven Tree, you get a full map vision for 15 seconds, a heal because elves always heal, and window protection because apparently we didn't need it for Angmar. Then we get Tom Bombadil because everyone loves Tom Bombadil. Elven Ward because it's quite obvious. Our, our bot of hero power which gives us their bo our bonuses. And... This is, quite, this is a new one, and I think it's quite fun. The Elves of Woodland Realm. You don't see many lottery effects in the um, old, in the other mods. But the fact that Lothlorien has it, in the fact you can either get Thranduil, Legolas, or Tariel, with three battalions of a unit that's more fo that, that also relates to them. So Tariel gets Hunters, Legolas gets Archers, and Thranduil gets Guard. And I want to show this off right away, so we're going to go Winds of Protection. Not because it's good, just because I want to show them off. Because I have seen it a bit. Oh, and it also I've also got to mention, it says it's permanent. These are permanent summons. They're not like, like um, the Edine Wood Elf Power, which summons Tyrell and some elves for a while. They just stay. They don't go, they stay. And I'm against a brutal AI Mordor. So imagine how... I feel about this. I feel very, very good about this. We can win this easy. Because now we're going to build the three Lorien Gardens. And look at that. Min tiny range. Game just crashed. There we go. Yeah, that happens quite a bit, I've noticed, with Lothlorien. Or oh, it might just be this map. I don't know. But it does have some, like, a couple seconds of just... Broken frames. I don't don't know if that'll come up on here, but if it does, then so be it. But yeah, first units, Lorian archers, warriors, and spearmen. So if you ever go, go against a cavalry faction, which currently doesn't really exist, you can go spearmen. And warriors, if you ever feel threatened by a fast moving army. But you always want to go archers. They even have it as a top spot. Lorian archers. Like how can how can they make it more obvious that they want you to take these? Heroes are exactly the same. Orifin, Rumil, which are separate heroes in this mod. I'm going to get both of them. Then there's good old Double Chin Haldir, Celeborn, Galadriel, and I'm not sure if he's new, but very cool hero, Amroth, the king of um, Lothlorien, who originally left when the, um, when the mix between the Sindar and the... Uh, no, it was the Sylvan Elves being mixed with... I think it was the Noldor Elves of the Sindar. Basically, um, Elven migration into Lothlorien. Celeborn and Galadriel came in. Amroth was annoyed, so he went off with Nimrodel and a few others to form Dol Amroth. And then after Nimrodel, well, on the on the journey, Nimrodel got lost, which was Amroth's bride, and he just literally just walked into the ocean and perished. But he's back right now, so who cares about the law? <laughs> uh, for all of, you, all of you that saw my last video on, with the Gondor playthrough, oh, I'm I'm loving these new factions. How they've been changed. Obviously, I've been told a bit that um, the elves have not uh, Mordor. Uh, Gondor is and Mordor are probably the most changed factions, which I kind of expected, seeing that I I got the. Um, I managed to test with both Gondor and Mordor with the newest patch. And th those are the only two uh, factions available back then. But you'll be surprised. Lothlorien has gone through some substantial changes which make them a lot more balanced. And that is right. Elves are balanced now. I can officially say that the elves have been balanced out very, very nicely. For one, even though they're, they're still faster, they're a lot weaker. Uh, heroes are your your sponges now. Where in most factions, you don't want your heroes to be your um, damage sponges. 
Lothlorien, it is paramount because you just want to spam out archers and just um, get, uh, rush for silver fawn arrows and win. That, that's it. That's your game plan. Plus, you're um, unlike every other faction. Your units don't. Well, I say every other faction. Compared to Gondor, your starting units only get um, your upgraded arrows and banner carriers. No armor. They get zero armor. They just get the Elven Cloaks, because obviously Lothlorien, Stealth Faction. And I can just walk into these trees, and then anything that comes near, we'll just walk forward and then die before they even get to us. Got Malon Sprouts, so we can increase the resource production of our Malon trees, which I haven't made too many of right now. It needs to spread out a bit more. Because the Lothlorien economy is surprisingly strong. I mean, we're at... I, um, my little test game before this, at six minutes, I had nearly 4,000 and I got Amroth. That, if that doesn't indicate how strong Lothlorien is, well, not, 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 not strong, how, um, how quickly they, they ramp up, it must say something, surely. But again, one problem is... Their buildings are a little bit. Their main buildings, not their re resource buildings, are s uh, slow. Slow building. All buildings are slow building. But that that is extremely bad for Lothlorien because their units also take a long time to recruit. They're not like Mordor, where you can have extremely fast production speeds. You don't have a power like you have with Gondor to improve your production speed. So in a in in a pinch, you could just lose the game. If and this is a big if as well. Lothlorien was not the quintessential defensive faction. They are the staple of defense. Where in Edain, Gondor is the staple for defense because of the fact that you can use castles um, and have walls and such. Lothlorien, with their um, strong archers and um, their powers all together. Winds of protection. Protect protecting. Glance at the stars. You get to see the map, so you know if someone's coming at you. So you can p to protect your, your uh, you can defend appropriately. And elven healing in a pinch does quick heal. To fit every good faction has a heal, so it's not exactly. Well, does the, do the dwarves have healing? We'll, we'll we'll find out in the dwarven video. Oh, didn't know they dropped experience. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, we're at four thousand. <laughs> Let's just get Amroth because he is a really cool character. I must, I must admit, he is a very cool character. Not as lore wise, but in this game as well, he is strong. I must admit, I, I took a quick glance at him, and he is really strong. Get some more Malon trees up. So, like I said, all we really need are Lothlorien archers. And that's it. Yes, our, yes, we're now bankrupt. But look how long it takes. In less than a minute, we're going to be up to 2,000. Just watch. Before this hits 9, I feel we're going to hit at the 1,000 mark. And then another 30 seconds later, we'll hit the 2,000 mark. If I don't spend, which I probably won't be able to do. So Amroth, he is the only mounted character in this faction. And also... If we get to the, um, if we can get there soon enough, we might be able to protect our elves with a 20 second invulnerability. That's right, you heard me right. Oh wait, it just could just be used whenever, wherever. So yeah, all those units now are now invulnerable. That now is just chipping away at them and doing no damage. Kamal, Kamal is doing no damage. Granted, we are against a Brutal, so the fact we're not making any progress is not good. Do we have the healing? No, we don't. We might want that. Use a Silver Fawn Arrow upgrade quickly. Take Amroth off his horse. He also gains armor and total fear resistance. Uh, release the charge of Galathrim Knights to trample enemy units. That's right. Elves now have horses. And not on elks. 
actual normal horses. And now we can get the lottery of Mirkwood. And that is our saving grace right here. When in a tough pickle, call upon Legolas to just show up and win you any battle. First ability, Hawk Strike, same as in the base game. Oh, I haven't seen these units. Oh, they're beautiful. I've only seen the Tariel units so far, but this... Oh, they're beautiful. So what does Douglas have? He can use his dual blades. He has Elven Eyes, which has increased vision and Shroud Clearing. So if you ever needed... To, if you're ever finding another elf and you get Legolas, you're in good luck. You, you've got some good luck in, in, your, um, in your eyes. You've just got good luck. But the only problem is, with this lottery, your command points get tanked. We were at around 180 and now at 321 for three elite units and Legolas. Which may think, yeah, that's good. That's still really good. And yes, it is pretty good. But you'll come to a point where you'll just have a lot of expensive units which you can't do anything with. And then, I don't know. It's, it's worked fine for me so far, so I can't really complain about it. And yeah, 11 minutes, and we're now back at 3,000. Uh, Galadriel has not changed at all, so I'm not going to bother going to her. Caliborn has not changed at all, and Haldir has not changed at all. They're all exactly the same. Actually, Caliborn has one thing which I think is new. I think. I don't... I don't think... I don't... In my, my heart of hearts, I still think it's not new but it might be new so that's that's incentive enough for me to buy him yeah i don't think this battle will last much longer once i get civil fawn arrows i think that's the icing on the cake when it comes to taking out enemies just get civil fawn arrows and you can destroy buildings that is the one weakness of lothlorien you go a full archer build you can defend your base forever but you can't defeat your enemy and if you don't, you can't kill your enemy, they're more likely to ha they they generally have stronger. They will find a way to kill you if you can't kill them. And they will just find ways to counter your archer build because there are a lot of strong things that some factions have that can just clean out archers, like a cavalry build. Obviously, if you get spearmen, then you're protecting against it, and you're probably going to win, and you're just being smart. But nah. If you're like me, you don't like being smart. <laughs> it's like Gollum where? If we were to get the ring, it might be worth getting Galadriel. Just to show off her one ring form. When she gets the... When she ha uh, when you have the ring in Botter... In fact, I don't even know if it changed the ring mechanic in Botter or not. We'll have to find out. But in the past version of um, Botter, when you get the ring, as a good faction, you get a selection of um, some of the greatest heroes of Middle-earth called the Grey Council. Depending on which faction you get... Um, if, if we were the elves, we wouldn't get Galadriel in the Grey Council, because obviously she's in our faction. But we could get... We would get like Saruman, Gandalf, Elrond, Kirdan, or Radagast, or... A mix of all five, or maybe all five. I think it's a, I think it's a mix of four. And this depends on which faction you are. Depends on which ones you get. Then, uh, I think Lothlorien is the only faction that actually has a um, additional power attached to the ring in the form of Galadriel, because obviously, if you get the one ring, you're basically rejecting the the ideal of. Um, Galadriel passing the test and just going off to the Grey Havens. You're saying, okay, we're staying. Wow, they really packed Sulfur and Arrows far back. They packed it far, far back. Under 6,000 resources. Which I've already paid half off already. <laughs> uh, it's important to note, I've, um, on my, my test of this, I found a glitch where if you go for the armor... You can't, like, um, have another armory that goes into weapons. You're just stuck with armor with all of them. 
Oh, and Legolas has changed um, portrait. Is that because of this power? Oh, oh, wait. Why is Galadriel's gifts gain some? So why why did his portrait change? Huh. I do not know. Monster Slayer arrow fires a triple arrow which delivers critical damage to monsters. Yep, that's when he kills the Muma kill. And then the arrow, good old arrow wind. Launch a continuous volley of arrows. Doesn't say endless, it just says continuous. Anyway, talking of... Oh. Gotta hate that power glitch. There we go, let's try again. So, once you get power... Um, the grace of uh, um, the Eldar... Uh, Celeborn and Amroth gain foy armor. Haldir gains extra armor and allows the construction of the Galafrim Barracks, which is where you get your brand new unit, the Galafrim Horsemen. Oh, it feels so good to have cavalry as um, Lothlorien. Oh, and you even have to wait a long time to Silverthorn. Yeah. I must admit, that it's worth putting uh, Silverthorn hours behind this much and then costing 600 for each unit because... Again, if you get to Silver Fawn Arrows, that is the game-winning play. You're not losing after that point. That's a stun everything in our beautiful aura. It's the knowledge of Celeborn. Oh, yeah, and this light turns trolls to stone. Obviously, it's not doing it right now because you, ha you have to use it immediately on the troll. It's just a nice aesthetic afterwards. We probably need to get the heal for our... Oh, and if you're wondering what that, like, um, drawing of the, sa the sword is, that is just um, them constantly resummoning... What's his name? And then he, he just keeps dying. Um, Gorbag. They keep, they keep bringing Gorbag back to life, and then he just dies again. So, yeah, that's the sound he makes when he dies. Not really a pleasant sound. And yes, so I'm not sure... And I don't remember this being a glitch for um, Gondor, but it seems if you pick, you can only pick weapons or armor with um, Lothlorien. Obviously, you've got your Galathrim archers and spearmen, swordsmen even. Then you can train Galathrim knights and the Galath the Galathon guard, which are elite units. Which Celeborn, I think, buffs. Yes. Nearby law units gain experience and damage in Galafon Guard near Caliborn gain armor and experience. So basically, he makes uh, Galafon Guard, that, um, which are normally really good elite tier units, your elite, your elite tier units, into a even more powerful unit. Which is quite literally ridiculous. Wood Elf Lottery, which one are we going to get this time? Tyrell or Thranduil? Uh, uh, okay, that's another glitch. If you roll the lottery twice and you get the same character, um, yeah, you get the character twice. Although I think Legolas, this 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 Legolas is um, glitched out because his models has disappeared. Can he kill these orcs? Okay, he's still a playable. He's still. It's still in the game, but the lottery has. Um, so 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 that's so that's two glitches now we found for Lo uh, Lothlorien, the um, armory glitch and the um, lottery glitch. If you get the same roll twice, the second character's model disappears. Which, if it happens to you, I imagine that's actually really bad because if. A Legolas just comes out of no this comes out of nowhere invisible, you can't see him. What are you gonna do? I mean you can just attack at order over him, but you don't even know if he's there or not. Just notice things dying. Oh that's good to know. Yeah, look look at our look at our economy. We're not even tanking our economy and we're just we're just rolling in money. We're rolling in the green stuff. Oh, we've reached the maximum of melon trees. That might explain why we're, why we're so rich. Let's head back. Let's head back. Because I kind of want to get Galadriel now. But let's get the banners first. That silver's an extra 300. Uh, Lorien Wardens. Extremely, extremely, extremely powerful unit.
But it takes a long ass time to make them. I mean, I'm gonna make. I mean, I'm gonna get them. But you also start to notice the command points of unit. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, command points 40. Yeah, the command points of your units become a lot higher as the tiers go up. Because normally it's 18, 18, 18, 24. I mean, yeah, that's that's fine, that's fine. We just get 550, that's kind of like the cap we're at currently. But we can increase it with um, heroic statues. We just build a couple of these and then our command point cap is increased. Yeah. Yeah. Have I got silver fawns now? Yes, okay. Everyone gets silver fawns. I still got more money. <laughs> oh yeah. Lothlorien, super tanky, super hard to beat. In their own base, because of silver fawn arrows. So does this summon Does this summon? Oh, okay. It does as a circle AoE charge around him. That is both good and terrible in a manner that is hard to explain. I think it's cool. Light of the Golden Wood. Not only does a cloud break, it is a mass heal everywhere. Because apparently the elves needed more healing. You know, uh, he died three point. 8 point whatever it was. Didn't make it obvious that the elves had too much healing. They just had to bring it to... Just had to give them more healing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Elves don't need healing. Elves need less healing. Need more um, squishiness, I think. I think that would make them better. The stun effects and the, the, um, the hiding effects are already a strong combination. Giving them heals... Are not only a cloud break, which does even more stunning, but as a thing you can get on your gardens, which is 750, gives all units extra health and healing. That seems really, really powerful and should be um, sent down a little. That seems a bit. This, this feels too strong. It really does just feel too strong. I'm sure a lot of people agree with me with that. That's a bit strong. Also, Lorien Wardens, I think we used to be 500, are now 1,000. To be fair, there might have been 1,000 before. I just don't know. It's just a lot less noticeable because obviously your economy is just ridiculous. But yeah, Lothlorien, very small command point limit, but extremely powerful defences. Also, the Silver Fawn arrow, Arrows of the, Lothlor the Merkle units are, um, are green. That is amazing. It's such a beautiful little aesthetic addition that you you, don't, you just take for granted, but it is beautiful. And I can't wait to test out Mordor, because look, look at this base. It's just filled with different buildings. In fact, I'm going to show the base. I want to see the, all these different buildings and what they're called. So you are a Gorgoroth Warhouse. So, okay, so this is the uh, blacksmith, I'm guessing. The Morgul Stronghold. So this is where you get the Morgul units. The, um, yeah. Mogul warriors, pikemen, and archers. The same model, Mogul um, stronghold. Drummers, attack trolls, and the Gorgoroth battle trolls. Don't ask me why I know their names off by heart. I, I, I've played Mordor enough. Wait, no, this is there. So, what's this? Oh, okay, I just can't wait to play Mordor. Hand on the Bible, I can't wait. And Arwen is not level 10, it's level 8. Se I guess it's level 7. That's, that makes sense. That makes sense, it's level 7. Cause that's, that's, that's what it is in um, most um, renditions of Legolas. Train some Galathon Guard. And then let's train some Knights as well. So the Norian Wardens, they have a different ability. They are always stealthed, even when they attack. Which is really strong. They can switch between Sword and Bow. And they immediately start with Silver Fawn Arrows and Forged Blades. So they surpass the glitch that um, you'd have to, you'd be annoyed of otherwise. Also, where can you get banner carriers? Research upgrade, a regular force nail this upgrade. No, it doesn't. 
Because, yeah, apparently a full heal on 6,000 hit points <laughs> is not broken. Yeah, I think this healing needs to be dumbed down a little. Bring it to about half health of all um, elven heroes and only do it for heroes. That would make it fair. Because units don't need more healing than they already have. Personally. Personally, I think that that healing is just too much. It's too good. It's too strong. Colorborn's experience ability, though, I love. I love it so much. Just watch. Look at that. Those, those five stars are just beautiful. Oh, wait. Is, oh. Oh, okay. So it's not when Legolas gets rolled twice in the lottery. It's when he upgrades to level 5. He seems to automatically get his bow of, Galad of the Galathrim. And his model just doesn't exist. That's strange. A lot stranger than um, the bit, the um, it being caused by uh, the lottery. I think the lo it being caused by the lottery seems more appropriate. Anyway, Flood, let's get rid of the their troll creators and stuff. Yeah, th this is what destroys the enemy buildings. Not so much damage against units. That is your. That's where Sunflare comes in. But yeah, look at this. We have quite little damage against buildings, and our, inf and our infantry units are taking a quite a beating. Oh, excuse me. Without a wee bit of gas. Also, these units take a long time. So compared to what I originally thought when I started this, in comparison to what I think now, I think the elves were a lot more... Um, I still think they're really strong. But there are obviously some things that make them too strong and they need to get need to bring down. Now, third largely roll. Is it Legolas? It's Tariel. Okay. Tariel, I know a bit more about. She can toggle between her blades and her bow. She gives um, Mirkwood archers armor and speed. It doesn't specify her hunters or archers. It just says Mirkwood archers. So I think that includes um, is specific to her hunters. Who knows? Woodland shot single shot that decreases enemy armor and speed for twenty seconds, twenty percent. I, I said that I said that when I was doing my test. The tower becomes stealth, stealth even when she attacks. It's meant to be he, she, but not he. But eh. you can't control everything. Blessing of Greenwood, a level 6 heal that uh, Elrond will get a level 1. <laughs> and then Swift Death swiftly attacks a target with three of her daggers and strikes four times. So both Legolas and Tariel have a assassin-like effect, which brings into the, more into the ruthlessness of the Sylvan Elves. They are a they are very ruthless um, uh, elves. Because obviously they haven't seen the light of the two trees. They're the... Um, they're not Avari, they're not Dark Elves, they're Sylvan Elves. Elves that um, were lost along the way to the road. Uh, were, lost, a lot, were lost on the road. The Avari Elves were those that refused to see the light. N that doesn't mean they're evil, just means they're... They prefer the ho their... Um, the, la the lives they lead before um, the coming of the... Um, Coming of the Eldar? Is that the right? Not, not, no, not, no, they're the Eldar. <laughs> the coming of the, um, the Valar. Why that took me so long to, to think of, about is beyond my comprehension. But we need more heroic statues, it seems, because I want to get Galadriel, and she costs 100 command points. <laughs> I will admit, I don't think. They're as broken as before, but they, obviously, yeah, the healing, that's, that, that's their main, that's the main thing that ticks me off about um, fighting against Lothlorien. It's the fact that they're going to do a full heal from, like, from, for a hero with a absolute, a, a metric crap ton of <coughs> uh, hit points. Can just get healed from 100 to, up by an extra 6,000 with a tier 1 power. Seems a bit strong. Maybe make the heal a tier 2 power and bring the Elven Wood. Up because, I mean, let's face it. What's 
so good about this that it's a tier two power and elven healing isn't that's that's my, that's my question i mean obviously the buff and the stealth but there's trees everywhere we don't need to worry about stuff i mean i know, I know this is the lorian map and there's a lot more trees but there's always going to be trees on every map and even the, even then the stealth mechanic doesn't really work against the uh, ai you're already only playing as the ai this feels a bit niche. The stealth of ability. Now, does this work on heroes? It does not. So let's have a look. Yes. Oh, yes. It's even more beautiful when you see it like that. So yeah, it's basically flood, but all the horse, all those water horses, are replaced with. Um, Galathrim Knights, and they don't do much damage against um, buildings. Oh, sup, Easterlings. Goodbye, Easterlings. But yeah, we're going to be here for a while. Because <laughs> I have a feeling we cannot really do anything against to stop them right now. Destroying their buildings might help a little. Okay, this does... First of all, it's a much larger a uh, area than it seemed to be. B, these towers have exceptional amounts of health. And see what do these abilities do. Range units around them gain range for 50, 20 seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Monster Slayer Arrow. It cannot be used on anything but monsters, it seems. Maybe on a hero? No, only monsters. Let's have a look at Arrowwind. I don't think we saw Arrowwind the first time. Last ability of Amroth, the Song of Nimrodel. Enemy units around Amroth are stunned for 20 seconds. An ally and enemy units cannot attack each other in the radius. And ally units gets healed. So, so um, yeah, a lot of different stun effects. A lot of um, paralyzing and fearing effects. Because we are the antithesis of like the, the forces of evil. Our light is so bright, it blinds um, those that... No, it... Ugh. I was going to say something cool, and then I just messed it up. And, yep, just... Actually, yeah, cl close enough to a full heal. 6,000 health is close enough to a full heal. Let's get the Entmoot, because, yeah. Entmoot can be built anywhere. Similar to how the... Um, the Wildman Hut could be built anywhere with Isengard. We can just build our Ent Moots anywhere because, let's face it, Ents, d Ents don't follow the rules. <laughs> uh, and this is the, the other building I forgot to build earlier, the Lothlorien Sanctuary. If I built this earlier, we've had a lot more command points. We'd have Eagles, Ents, yeah. And that this is why I say Lothlorien is the defensive faction. Not just because of, you know, them having un extremely unnatural strong defences, but the fact that they have a, a literal building that gives them power points. Like, no joke. They get power points from this building. Let's get the rest of these upgrades. Golden Leaves just gives nice little aesthetic leaves, which gives health and buildings gain health. And is one half, one piece of the puzzle to create get, gaining the Girdle of Lorien ability, which also requires Galadriel to use her special power on the fortress to create the girdle, which is a giant, um, like, protective barrier. Which some of you may have se um, played around with in the past. Personally, I only played around with it that one t uh, this one time before this video. Jeez, it's been half an hour already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, let's get this over with already. Yeah, where can we get banner carriers? Can we just not make banner carriers anymore? Anyway, more heroic statues, please. Oh no, we've reached the maximum. Crap. So yeah, our command point cap is 730, it seems. Or something around 730. Maybe I could build another outpost.
But yeah, look at this army. Extremely powerful. And they just can't beat it. Because one, they focus our heroes. Which is the problem. The heroes aren't the, the super strong thing here. It's just the fact our units are allowed to keep firing, which makes us so strong. Then being left to do whatever... I still haven't seen Arrow win in action. I still haven't seen it in action. I've got to, I've got to look now. My eyes are on here. What's, what are you going to do, Legolas? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't even see them all. It looks like 15, 13, 14, 15, 16. So about 15 volleys. That seems more than the usual arrow wind. Which, again, feels quite powerful. And yeah, I guess that's another thing they've done with them. Um... Huh, so this has given us more command points. Cool. But I can't remember if it was Age of the Ring or Botta that had the uh, command points for hero set to like one. But Lothlorien, with their <coughs> command point restrictions. Well, I say restrictions, but with um, the fact their units are don't ever die and super strong and so on and so forth having your main hero that also is like your main buffer not just cost 8000 but then take an extremely long time to make and requires a lot of command points makes her very very hard to get which is good it's a very very good thing let's get some eagles we just need to just clear out the base. Oh, we got... We finally got some... Uh... Anyway, Gwai here. Exactly the same as the other eagles. He no longer has a screech. So that, that's the thing to know. In this form, Gwai here does not have a screech. And where's our cavalry? Oh, they even get alternate weapons. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Every Lothlorien faction, I'm just going to play with Galathrim Knights. Oh, that's beautiful. For the glory of Linden. And they don't take long to recruit either. I guess it's just the Galathrim Guard that take forever. Celeborn, use your ability. Teleport everyone away. This is why I bought Gal Celeborn, because I, I thought this was a new power. I feel like it is. I feel like it should be a new power that he has. <coughs> they can just teleport everything away. Apologize, apologies for the mass amount of glit of um, slowing down. That's what Celeborn does. He just... Uh, look away. He's not Elrond, he's Celeborn, but I, I'll, it's fine. <coughs> Let's now get Galadriel. Because now we're going to look for the ring. With our mounts, we're gonna find Kel um, We're gonna find the one ring, and then we're gonna oh, oh, chair just popped a little there. <coughs> we're gonna find the one ring, and I'm gonna show off Galadriel because I think that's the only way we're gonna win this b uh, battle right now. We're just too, we're just in too deep, and just not have enough to end this game. Plus, brutal Mordor. Oh, they're brutal. Yeah, where are you, Gollum? Where are you? Grave, let's go away from the slaughterhouse. I don't really care for their buildings. We saw Gollum somewhere. He was here. He was around here. And then he disappeared again. By going down here. Oh yeah, if you get silver fawn arrows on the fortress, all your towers get silver fawn arrows. So that's really good. Here she is. So let's show off the girdle of Lorien, because I, I I think the ability is extremely is just so aesthetically pleasing it is always just worth getting just to show off. Look at that. That is just beautiful. 
Also, we've just lost 120 command points. Yeah, this is this is this is what I've noticed. I call it the uh, command point glitch because you know, command points glitching. Can't really explain more about it than that. Let's get the Woods and Tom Bombadil. Let's see how well Tom and B uh, good old Bombadillo can wreck face. And is he with Goldberry? No, he is not. Allies near Tom Bombadil gain total fear and tear of resistance. Stacks for 10 seconds. And then he's got his Sonic song. Oh, when he says it. Oh, if if it, if it, if it didn't say it, I would have been disappointed. Yeah, we still we still need to find. We still need to find. Uh, Gollum. I do not know where he is, so I'm just gonna keep looking around. Then the enemy stuff, you know, discovered was not something important. It wasn't Gollum. All these. Did they claim the ring? No. Okay, good. To be fair, if they claim the ring, we would have to fight Sauron by now. So let's just find the ring. Come on, Gollum normally can just walk, run off the map. Not yet. Song of Nimrodel. I can't actually have the song play because that would be copyright. I imagine. Oh, but he's completely immobile while doing it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. But look at look our units still healing through this. Yeah, um, Amroth's going to die. Hmm. Uh, is he down here? I just want to find Gollum. I just want to find Gollum. Come on. If I can have one thing, just let me find Gollum. Otherwise, we won't be able to finish this game. It's already gone for 40 minutes. Uh, I want to record at least two, vid two videos today. I feel like I'm only going to get one done now. Thanks a lot, Lothlorien. You beautiful bastards. <laughs> uh, we've got four command points, and we just can't do anything. End drought. Uh, tree within ends gain faster auto heal and flame resistance, and Ent moot gains 3,000 health. That's new, and it's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. So where could he be? I can't think of anywhere else where he could be. Oh, that, 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 that just might be me with a lack of imagination. <laughs> Who knows? Now I'm going to destroy all of Mordor's def um, base because they can't really do anything to us. All, all, our, all of our Malon trees have extreme defences. And we have another Legolas. <laughs> Triple Legolas forever! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. But yeah, I think that lottery needs to be where you can only get one of each. And not get like multiples because then that just becomes a bit ridiculous. Obviously, you're not getting more units from it, but I think that's just because of the command point cap and the heroes that aren't included in that cap, it seems. That's a guess. That's a random guess. Shot in the dark. I'm going to say it's just because. Anyway, let's go back to defending up here. Let's have, the, let's, let's, let's have Galadriel level on her own. She's strong enough she can fight for herself. And when she hits level 5, her white blast. Yes, that's... I, I know it's... It could just be something like um, magic blast, but... Nah. Basically, basically, everything about her is white. I can make so many terrible jokes, but I know, I, I know better than that. Look, all my command points are just fading. What is happening? Why are my command points just disappearing out into um, emptiness? Nothingness. Tyrell has died. I don't know how. Ah. I 
I like to know how we still have so many command points. We're losing units, and yet we've still got command too many command points. How? Oh, that's a troll. What the f That damage. That damage. Oh, finally, our command points are fading. It's about damn time. Ruben and Orifin don't need you anymore. Whoa, come on. Not Grond. Anything but Grond. Well, that's a mouth of Sauron. <laughs> Just nope. So all units around her are scared for a short time and lose damage. But yeah, she's losing this fight quite terribly. Summon some Ents. Ents to the rescue. Which version of Ents are these? Just Ents, not Ash Ents. Ash Ents are slightly smaller Ents that have the trample ability, like the mountain giants. And they only cost 20 command points. And that's the end of Grond. Let's... Oh, we can actually re we recruit Tariel. Oh, okay. Okay, that's... So wait, if I was to have all three Legolas's die, could I recruit three Legolas? The Legola... The Legolasai. <laughs> I don't even know how to make that sound not stupid, because it's just so stupid. <laughs> oh, now let's go talk to the guys. Still need to find um, Gollum somewhere. Wherever, wherever he may be, I need only to find him. Now, can these Ents run? No, they cannot. That is a problem. It means they're not, they haven't got much mobility, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Good because it makes, means they're not stupidly broken. It's a bad thing because it means that, yeah, they're not stupidly broken. But they do last a decent amount of time. I give it, I give them credit there. They do last a long, long time. Let's put it on auto cast because why not? We'll soon show off her evil form, but only if we find the ring. Only if we find the ring. Jesus, this taking so long. Ugh. I need to think of a better str better strategy for ending the game with, um, I guess Ents can just end the game. But obviously you need the command points for it, and with the current command point glitch, it's just so hard to do it. Yeah, all three Legoluses no longer have bodies. They're just spiritual entities that are if anything... Oh, what? Wait, wait, what? You can do it? What on? Okay. Red trailed arrows. That's new. Two elves. Anyway, I'm going to find Gollum. Screw my base. I can defend it with my powers. But I don't need to because it's just so well defended. Oh, Galadriel's getting... Doing summit. Oh, there go the Ents. They're singing into the sands of... Dirt. Because yeah, that makes sense. Everything makes sense. Bombadillo. That's a little bit more of a wind up than usual. We can still knock back trolls by just walking onto them. Bombadillo. I hate that archers can't auto target towers. That's that. That's one nice thing about um, Edain and Age of the Ring. Well, actually, not not Age of Age of the Ring, but um, with um, Edain, your units does any units, including archers, can auto target buildings, which is the. Okay, that was um, a Faramir. And his boots are yellow. 
getting these towers built up. We've got some power points. Let's get Caliborn back. For a second, I thought I saw the troll dancing. And then I realised, oh no, it's just Tom. Uh, he, have, he has to be somewhere. He, there, 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 there. Don't let him run off the map of the ring. Okay. Gladriel. Because you're extremely fast. Okay, we might now win. Girdle to celebrate. And let's get some Ash Ants. Oh, we can only get one. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes a bit more sense. Not the builder. Where's Tario? Okay, she's there. That's not smart. Oh, and that heals only for a. Let's get everything back to the base. Oh my god, I can actually do this. But there's no room. Yeah, let's, let's not bother. What the? Oh, that's Gothmog. That's Gothmog doing his crazy stuff that he likes to do. Come on, Galadriel. Once you get there, you become super strong. You have to do this. You have to. Let's get how there while we're doing... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's just a barrage. Okay. I was concerned that was happening around the entire map. No, it was just a, it was just a basic barrage. And then there's something else. Killing all our units. Yes, command points. <laughs> command points. Glorious command points. Give me Ents. There we go. I've hit the I've hit the cap. You really you really can only get four ents. Oh, that was a bit bad. <laughs> Triple level ten. Um, gal um, how dare? Because why not? Come on, Galadriel, deposit the ring, and you get a prize. I promise. There we go. Summon five count council members: Saruman, Radagast, Elrond, Galaf um, Galofendel, and Kurdan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. For you don't know who this is, that is a rude devil. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Obviously, it's meant to be Kurdan, but <laughs> if anyone's still watching, if anyone is still watching, please give Rude Devil some um, likes and stuff. Just just watch his content if you don't already watch if you don't already watch his content because he is oh. He, he, he basically um, was one of the first people to really look into Edine and Botter and all that. And is probably one of the most well-known Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle Earth players on YouTube. And is personally one of my <laughs> all-time favourite people to watch back in the day. But yeah, I'm just... Throwing powers out now. <laughs> I still can't get over that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That, that is that is that that has made my day. <laughs> uh, 
Who, who did this? Why would you do this? Uh, this is, oh my god. I can't even right now. I can't even. We've been doing this for 54 minutes, and now I can say 54 minutes well spent. Galadriel, do your thing. Oh, wait, you need to be level 10. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, well. And apparently I can't attack the base. All oh, right, it's got the lava mode, so it can only be attacked by ranged units. Or oh, just not by Galadriel. That's sexist. Galadriel can't attack it. This is wrong. Oh, I don't care if we have, we've got plenty of command points for more things. Oh. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> oh, I just can't. I'm, I just can't stop laughing now. <laughs> I can't actually believe they've done this. Damn it, why can't I have Thranduil? Oh my... <laughs> oh. That is just too funny. That is just too funny. <laughs> oh my god. Can someone tell me who thought of this? Who thought of putting this in? And then just give them a medal. Just give them a fat medal. Just saying congratulations. Because, oh. That's one way to balance our ends, I guess. Just make them so they can't move. Slowest unit in the game. Oh. Of course everyone's going to die. The power reached its limit. Can't last forever. Void. From whence shall you come? Oh. Okay, I'm back to normal. Oh my god. Just thank you, whoever made that. Just thank you. Uh. Completely forgot about this power, by the way. Just get free power points because I don't need power points anymore. Oh, yeah. D good old double chin, how dear. Level 6 gets a flat tower, level 10 gets Galathrim. You get a Galathrim summon, and gold narrow, and armor. That's it. So, can I remake this Legolas? No, I cannot. Oh, I like that quote. But yeah, this is GG. Oh, the Ash Saint can't tramp, um, do his uh, stomp. I don't know if that was actually a thing in this mod, or if it was just a thing from another mod. It might have been a thing from another mod. But yeah, blimey. This, this battle lasted for a bit, a bit too long, I must admit. I let this go on for too long. Second Legolas dead. Third Legolas dead. I can re-recruit re two of them. <laughs> oh. No, that's it. I'm done. Sorry, we don't, sorry, we don't get to see the special power of um, Galadriel and all that, but oh. Yeah. Lothlorien, I must admit, is a lot more balanced than what it was um, when I last played as it. It definitely has a. It is definitely more fun to play as well. I, I, I feel it feels so much more. Um, I, I, I think it's just um, I'm getting better at the game. I just, just feel so much, so much more relaxed while playing. Come on, Ench, you got, don't have forever. Uh, 
Oh, my throat is ruined. I've ruined my throat after this. This game's lasted an hour. Oh, I'm done. I am done. <laughs> oh, that made my day. So, Lothlorien, they're about the same. A bit more balanced. I wouldn't say they're the 10 out of 10 that I gave I give Gondor. I say they're about a 7 out of 10 because, obviously, I'm so peeved about the healing. They get too, they've got still got too much healing, in my opinion. They need to, you need to bump that, you need to bump that down a little. Um, command point wise, they seem like they just run out of command points too easily. With um, Gondor, I felt like I never lost, run out of command points because nothing died. With Lothlorien, well, I know things did die with Gondor, but nothing died with Lothlorien, and I think that's still the problem. Units are just too good. The early game units are just too good. But when it gets to the late game, you don't want your early game units. But you don't want to throw them away because then you're wasting time. You're wasting precious resources, technically. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed. I'm done with my rambling for today. Oh, I need a drink. And maybe some other things just to help my throat. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the time? It is... Oh. I don't feel like making another video. This this one's taken a lot of energy out of me. But I will do a bit more testing. And if I have the energy and the the effort, then I will make the vi the next video on the Dwarves of Erebor. But until next time, I s hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you all saw the Rude Devil part. Because, oh, that, 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 oh, that made my day. Ta-ta for now.